probably just be like god knows but it's not it's not good because that same year should i say that same seven years millions of people lost everything no joke they lost their jobs they lost their savings they lost their homes they lost their marriages some lost their families last seven years of apc so if it's all about money then we'll probably be sounding like them too yeah i'm gonna be rich but that's not the kind of rich i mean riches that uh i don't think uh it will come it will come not because i ask for it or what have you it's gonna come naturally but what costs at what cost when you have old men lying demented the person bragging and making promises to young people who are working hard, working for those who are working, working hard, working hard to make ends meet, only for their whatever they get as a reward from hard work to have been devalued by one quarter. Sorry, three quarter or four, 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 four I'm sorry, yeah, four quarters of uh, the entire value of whatever they are getting. So, me that will sit down here in the UK, eh, 1,000 pounds sterling which I can make very easily, 2,000 pounds sterling, which I make also very easily, right? There are just thousands here. But in Nigeria, 1,000 pounds will make me almost a millionaire. 2,000 pounds will make me a multimillionaire because I could get up to 2, 2 million. All because some criminals who never worked in their lives, they never actually created wealth. They are those who are now championing your future in Nigeria, telling you they could build you a future that will bring the prosperity. Do you see Kolo there turning to man of God? Prosperity is here. God, we bless you. That's a campaign, not a crusade. Though. I won't go tonight with that. I was going to have to like do some fundraiser tonight, but my time is so up. And I'm so sorry, princess. She, she said that to me all the time. My Higun, you would have said that we're going to do something. Then you get straight into talking about this Nigeria stuff. Then we never do them. I know, I know. Sorry. We'll do that some other, We'll do that tomorrow. I promise. The first of uh, February. And I'll give my own hint a bit. But I won't kind of leave without uh, touching the obedience themselves. Who are also like, uh, as they say it, as they call it, pressing the neck of uh, the establishment somewhere in Jigawa. No, not Jigawa, sorry. Adamawa, where Atifku comes from. So I'm going to take you to Adamawa. Uh, a quick one. But before I take you to Adamawa, hmm? I think you should listen to this. Sorry if you don't understand Yoruba. Somebody will interpret or say or yeah, explain it in the comment section. Please do me a favor. Listen to this video. It's in Yoruba. And I want you to please help me interpret that in the comments. I'll do my best when I come back to also explain what this man is saying. Okay. I'm from Kwara State. Kwara State. Okay. Uh, 48, mark me 48 in a okay. few months. Okay. Then, How does you want to go in Abba? I'm just out of the day, I'm going to go Okay. I'm going to go Okay. About the... It could be 10 kilometers a day or your town. Okay. You can go to the Monkolo. Or an accident, BMW. Okay. X5. So, I'm going to go to the Monkolo. I'm going to go to the Monkolo. Okay. I'm going to go to the Monkolo. So, I'm going to go to the Monkolo. 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 So I have to do it. Oh no, we lost it. We can't be bossed at all. Our way up, we need to make lost it. So if we attend a month or two, we then say we attend see. I have to do it. We want to do it. So we want to do it. 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 We want to do the payment is going to be done. Okay. All the money we want to get, we want to get the money. We want to get the money. Yeah, but 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 we want to get see that man right he escaped he was rescued uh by uh, 
uh, some uh, good Samaritans, Samaritans uh, in the Badon, is a kidnapped or escaped kidnap victim. The Fulani terrorists kidnapping people in that part. So he escaped. He ran, and ran, and ran, but they got him. And somehow, somehow they tied his hand and all of that. And uh, they brought him straight down from Oyo, eh, down to Ibadan. The axis where, of course, where the Fulani terrorism is, is of the highest. So he escaped or he was rescued. Did you see how sweaty he was, right? As somebody who have seen death face to face, especially if uh, you who have been living in denial, because if something doesn't happen to you, if it hasn't happened to you, the problem is not happening. Probably people are just using propaganda to raise all this. So you know what I mean? I pray that Nigeria, this type of Nigeria will not happen to you soon. That man will do Thanksgiving on Sunday. I promise you. Because that's just like a 10 million era ransom that escaped from the Fulani terrorist in Oyo. And just, just a reminder of the battle that people are fighting in the APC, Ebeke Best Nigeria. It's a reminder. But let's go to that Adamawa where Peter Obian is uh, obedient. Eh? Took over at Tifco State uh, today. Starting with this. <laughs> Of course, uh, that's a. Uh, he went to about three places: Yola, Mubi, and then uh, one other place like that. I can't remember, but oh, why did I forget that boy? It doesn't matter, right? Maybe they will mention that uh, in this video where he was meeting uh, with the traditional ruler of that particular community in Adamawa, it's inside the palace. This one. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, now we Establish what is 
The one of those things that we can plant our seed, we can water it, but God will be the one to give the increase. That will be what will be in Nigeria. Yeah. We know and we believe that Nigeria will never be the same again after February 8th. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Peter will be at the best as to traverse this country continually to campaign. You will go with our prayers. Amen. God will be with you in your moment. Amen. God will protect you. God will give you the wisdom Amen. to say the right things and the right places. And the favor of God will rest upon you. Amen. 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 That's our prayer. I wish you all the best. Amen. We have a tradition, even though there's no time. We don't allow people that are looking for strategic offices in the nation to come into our palace and go without wearing our clothes. So we are going to wear the cloth for you. And we are going to wear the cloth for you. We don't have to remove everything. We wear it on top of us. Now. <laughs> <laughs> a good husband is the one who meets the new wife without sending away the old one. That's uh, Newman in Adamawa. After he left Newman, he went on to Mubi. After Mubi, then he went on to the state capital, which is uh, Jola. And I think this is where he addressed the people in Mubi. Like, this guy will have about three campaigns, campaign, uh, three different campaigns in the same state, meeting women, meeting uh, students, and then the general, and he would do all of that within that same space. I don't know how he does that anyway, but yeah, I think this was a movie. The one where he gave a speech, the usual one, consumption to production. Obi. <laughs> Oh, but it's the same new man, oh. Imagine, oh, people in Newman. Another one in Mubi. I've got two videos for that. I should have told you, right? So that's Newman again. After leaving the palace, he went to go and see people there. And afterward, right, he moved on again to Mubi. Then from there, he moved to, to Yola. I won't be able to share all of that with you, but I'll share this one again, please. Uh, watch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
No, they are not alone. We will celebrate and unite the country. We will ensure that the country is united. We can no longer stay the way we are today. We want to build a country where no Nigeria will ever say I'm from the east, west, north or south. I'm from Nigeria. Obi from consumption to production. That's the buzzword, okay? Uh, somebody was like, uh, uh, you know, maybe somebody who didn't who was surprised that uh, after we have condemned uh, uh, Al Qaeda People's Congress (APC). People destroying uh, people, PDP. I think uh, that person was surprised that uh, we are not sing praising Obi. You know what that person said? And this 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 place is so toxic. Eh? Instead of you to be talking about Obi and all of that, I was like, oh, bro. If you feel like uh, eh, people are not like us, uh, you know, we're supposed to be praising and eh, Obi, 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 and all of that stuff, but that's not how it works, yeah. So if that makes it a bit uh, toxic for you, well, you are welcome to the real world. Okay? Everyone won't have to agree with you on the same thing you agree with. I don't know how old you are. Or I, don't, I don't care. But just so you know, in the real world, yeah, <laughs> people have uh, their choices for different reasons too. And guess what? Just the same way you are convinced about something, eh? so are they. They are convinced too. So that is where the understanding of maturity comes into. I you mean, know, that uh, as an adult, you are responsible for your choice and your choices in life. If that sounds toxic to you, Oje Padas, if it doesn't work, you better go back to where they are testing uh, people with mental health problems. This real world may be really too harsh for you. It is the real world. It is not toxicity. Okay? That uh, some of, I mean, that uh, a lot of us uh, will never, under any condition, whatever condition, we will never bow the knee or bend the knee for the criminals that have been uh, ruining Nigeria. It doesn't matter where they go to. It doesn't matter name they put up. It doesn't matter. Nothing. We will never, uh, you know, we never bend the knee. And at the same time, mm, we are also never going to uh, fight your battle for you. You pick it. Pick your battle. Face it. Clear about it. Because a lot of us actually have our own battles too. So don't call that toxic. Here you get. Eh? On this platform, I've done my best to make people see the obedient as uh, the karma that is happening eh, to the establishment that treated us uh, so bad and badly for decades. Now, the obedient are going to crush them or send them away or not is a different conversation entirely. But on this platform, we respect that. We call you their karma. That doesn't make us your friends, okay? I mean, me in particular. That doesn't make me your friend. Don't mix it up, okay? Wish you well. I won't treat you the same way I would treat uh, the Lagos Abobakus and uh, the Mekano uh, articulated uh, morons, articulated looters, and the articulated uh, scammers. No, I won't treat you that way because I know your story. The obedient. But that doesn't make us your friend. That doesn't make us sharing the same ideology, Okay? You need to understand that. That is, this is real life. This is real life. If you want to be so bad, so badly to fix Nigeria, some of us don't give a damn about that. And you need to live with that. Yeah, there are some people who don't give a fuck about it. Some of us don't give a damn about him. You know why? You're talking about Nigeria where some of us don't actually give a fuck about anymore. Yeah, we are all like effed up, Yeah. Whatever happens in Nigeria, whether we are there or not, whether we support them or not, whether we participate or not, we're going to share in the consequences of that. But that's not new. We are used to sharing the consequences of the choices that we never made. 
I didn't make a choice about Bokuari. Some millions of you made that decision. And you repeated that there four years ago, thereabouts. But when the consequences started falling on everybody, the economy crashing, the insecurity, the joblessness, the poverty, everybody is sharing it. So don't scare anybody with, uh, if they don't support Obi, they are going to suffer. Are you new? Are you actually really new? Or this is your first time of uh, engaging in political activities or political, like actively active in politics? Is this your first time? Then welcome to the real world. A lot of us have grown up, had uh, such experiences. You can't tell us and say, hey, hey, if you don't support him now, hey, these people will continue. Baba, go shidano. Don't, don't tell us that. We acknowledge and we recognize the fact that uh, Jews have become the Akama. Here you get. So finish the fight. You there with me? Because at the end of the day, your fight is about saving Nigeria. For who? For yourselves? Good luck. But you are the Akama that we are talking about is because even if nobody gives you any credit, if nobody cares, if, no, if people try to talk you down or gaslight you, on this platform, we have actually explained your, you know, your track and everything you've done to, get, to bring yourselves here, which is quite incredible. I mean, come on, 10 months. A political party that just came to prominent in 10 months. Give them their flowers. Give them their own thing. Give them their red carpet. But I don't come to my ego diary political and begin to feel like uh, we are friends. We are not friends, though. I have told you many times, okay, that uh, I am uh, here always telling you about the evil of PDP, evil of APC. And from uh, the blues, the Akama came, the obedience. They have uh, a time in 26 or 25 days from now. Eh? They will either prove all of us wrong or some of us right. Or don't ever come onto anywhere and begin to say, if they don't support to be that it's coming to save all of us. Here you get. If he's going to come and save you, if he's not going to save you, don't threaten anybody with that. Don't try to talk as if to say, like, we are talking about Nigeria, man. If this is your own reality you have created, that doesn't make us uh, toxic. We acknowledge your own. Your rose and the rest of that and wish you well so don't think we are actually like friends i'm not your friend though don't mix it up together okay because if tomorrow hmm, obi become uh, the president of nigeria eh? of course i'm going to treat him like i'm treating all these guys too how can you treat him like i've shown shirini oh get it sha we are talking about Nigeria as it is today. As long as Nigeria exists, whoever is in charge of Nigeria, eh? Oh, all of us, an answer. And since we're we likely never going to get the answer, eh? So we treat them the same way until we see it otherwise. So don't, don't, don't make it look like, a, you know what I mean? Remain there, Kama. And then if you see people here who don't believe in Obi, don't pretend that uh, you are surprised. This is my Egon's diary political. We don't believe in your politicians. Even though some of you are here, that we are shouting Yoruba Nation, Biafra, for the past uh, two years, the past 10 months, all of them are done change. Now, now come the preach. Uh, let, let us just give him a chance. If he, if he doesn't, uh, we can go back to Yoruba. I say, okay, fine. Your choice. I don't make choices for people. I don't, I just tell you what I know. Then you can make up uh, your mind on anything you want to do. So Obi has hijacked some of the people that we are both shouting, shouting Yoruba Nation now, the Afra now. Of course, we saw that. We see that as a, a timely something. So if Obi surprised all of us, I'll be one of them. Sure you get. And it is also normal that people, when people tell you that Obi can't win, they are just telling you to probably work hard to prove them wrong. Don't get mad and begin to act up like, uh, don't you love Nigeria? Don't no blackmail anybody with uh, Nigeria. Nigeria no get name to blackmail anybody with anymore. You can't blackmail anybody with uh, patriotism about Nigeria, uh, loyalty to your country, uh, love your country. All those things are still, they are, they are old. You can't blackmail anybody except fools who want to be blackmailed. You can't blackmail anybody with Nigeria anymore except dumbos. Foolish ones who are like uh, still making up uh, that fraud in their head. One Nigeria, it, it doesn't exist. Well, you can shock the rest of us and surprise us, eh? Defeat the establishment, defeat the system. 
Because at the end of the day, whatever comes out of it, now all of us go share them. Just same way. Nobody all of us supported Boko Wario. I don't date the Widanders. They child for the past 10 years. These people are criminals. So, Tifnubun are criminal. Tifnubun are thief. For 10 years, I haven't changed. So, a lot of us are like that. We never supported. But the consequences of APC, now only APC, they suffer. Or now only those of you within Nigeria, they suffer. Educate yourself. So, obedience, eh? As it be, you are just a good karma. Don't they tell anybody, say you are trying to save Nigeria to help us? Help who? Eh? You fight your fight. You are capable. You have the number. Sure you get. Because whatever comes out of the entire thing, every one four, eh? No be one person. Matter. Sure you get. If not, if Nubu Una end up pushing and saying, now your new president ought to be this, it's not going to change anything. The sufferness continues. If not, if you push and they say that if is the winner, it's not going to change anything other than to make it even worse. So if you now bring Gobi from a uh, 10 months old uh, group uh, that decide to challenge the establishment, then that's a milestone. Then you earn it. Because at the end of the day, whatever you achieve, whatever happens in another few days, eh, good or bad, now all of us go share them. So no, no, they, no they try to do. Make it look like uh, when people don't say when people say they don't like Kobe or they don't believe in him, it is real world, my brother. Okay, if this is real world. People are not going to like what you like, and it, it doesn't matter the reason they give. They just don't like what you like, and you will learn how to live with that, including in politics. That's why they call it democracy, isn't it? Because what they should be talking about is actually not what they are talking about. Look, listen to this before I go. But you, where is the money going to? Eighty percent of what should have been the income of a nation is going to the hand of some people. That's a lot of money, man. What do they want to do with the money? That's question number three. Question number four. Who are the foreign nations buying the stolen oil? Question number five. How many of these nations of the world are your friends? So you can see the reason why I'm not thinking of uh, 2023. Oh. Maybe that's why God has not spoken to me about that because there is a lot to deal with now. Do I tell you one more thing? It is open secret it's in the news undenied that more than 90 percent of our income more than 90 percent of the money we get from the leftover of the oil that was uh, stolen we are using it to pay the interest of the money we have already borrowed more than 90 percent and then it is news um, i'm sure you listen to the news we are borrowing more meaning what according to a friend of mine we are moving steadily to bankruptcy a whole nation, my beloved Nigeria, is moving steadily towards number two. Yeah. You don't pass, pass, pass. Everybody will go to the <laughs> That's it. That's APC. Show you guys. But they are there asking you that uh, call is coming to the hope is here. Prosperity is here. And it's about Nigeria. So obedient. If nobody gave you your flower in the last 10 months, you have proven to us eh, that uh, it is possible. 
yeah, like everything you think is possible. Yeah, you've shown that. But the next uh, 25 days eh, is going to cement or justify your conviction. And it's never going to be just by yourself. It's going to be by, I mean, it's going to be not just to yourselves, but it's going to be to a lot of people who are going to see what is it going to be like for the establishment to cave in under the force of uh, you, the obedient. So we want to see it. We want to see that happen. But that won't deny us the chance of reminding ourselves of uh, the monsters that you are actually like angling up or angling uh, against all of you. Don't don't underestimate them and uh, don't uh, don't uh, overestimate yourselves too. Whichever way what happened, right? The diary, I'll do my best to always be fair. Uh, you know, my fairness is just to tell you the truth. What I know, what you know. Analyze what I think and let you be the, the judge of the rest. Don't rush into it, okay? Everything I'm good, I would never lie to you, by the way, because there would be no reason to lie to you. To what end? To get what? So as for you to probably don't like this one or like that, come on. I don't like any of them. I don't. But if you can, indeed, mm, stop the likes of a call, the likes of a tifku. Even me will write a book that that happened in my lifetime. Whether OB is now going to deliver or is not going to deliver, it's actually a different political conversation entirely. But in 10 months, look at them. They've got no uh, money bags. They've got no uh, uh, all these uh, drug barons and all these barons and all that. And they brag openly that uh, they, give, I mean, they give no chishi. So I, I, I you know, applaud you. I do. That would never make me eh, become blind to the monsters. Eh? The monsters that motivated all of you to become obedient. Because you need to admit to that. A lot of you became obedient because of the, of the shege that the monsters have shown you. Now here you are, scared of the monsters, continue to do you shege. And that's your last bet, last chance. And I wish you well. Sure you get. But as you are hungling for that, please do not ignore the obvious criminals that motivated you into this in the first place. Do not arrogate this invisibility and all that to yourselves. Because the criminals that motivated you to become obedient and the rest of you, do you really think they are done? Or... Now that you have actually like a, a, a pushed some of them to start reacting to some of you. Uh, so I can only wish you well. I wish you the best. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, tonight, as you go to bed, the people of Oshun are already around Southwest uh, Yoruba land. They are doing this simply because of uh, the tribunal in Oshun. We don't agree. 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 We don't ag
na judgment. We no go agree. We no go agree. Oh, we no go agree. And this is my last one. Okay, this is to. I mean, this is actually for uh, those of you who usually mock the obedience. You know, I told you. Now, people we knew in the old political uh, bruaha, Nigeria political bruaha. Now, them, they react emotionally. We don't do this thing, Tete. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. Nigerians love their oppressors differently. And traditionally, APC is PDP. PDP is APC. Now, Esprit de call for those who know them very well. Now, Mumu they think APC different from PDP. Now, Mumu, and there are many. Mumu likes just are many. But if you are smart enough, you won't see any difference. And uh, so then they transfer themselves from one of them to the other. They are showing them the sugar, dealing with them. They love their thieves. They love their criminal leaders differently. Until obedience came to the picture. And suddenly, PDP, AP, sorry, APC, I mean, sorry, uh, PDAPC started gaslighting the obedience. We will teach you a lesson next month. Obi, obituary will lule next month. About Oropony Sense, Abi. Eh? Uh, sure. Tif Numbu, Bokuadi Pro Max. Enjoy it. Orun Yabo is not one person's uh, concern. I'll be problem alone. You want to teach people by bringing in Tifnumbu or Atifku to teach you obediency. I'll be in the same Nigeria. Ogmogon, Ogmon Sodiki, Iwologmonju. We don't stress these people so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting the expect. <laughs> you have to have capacity. Eventually. <laughs> you know, say when we did school, <laughs> you get one particular guy we'd always remind the teacher, say, never give us assignment. <laughs> now, Peter will be that. These people don't prepare as they go take start to the chop corn, they drink pure water for us. <laughs> Peter B. Come, change the narrative. Everybody begin to ask question of competence. <laughs> <laughs> and where I was say, you know, say, you get the kind of course where you go to study for school. You know, go know we have, you go get as area of concentration. <laughs> Everywhere <we> hard. <laughs> no PC with that. <laughs> Question where don't forget, where everybody don't finish, everybody don't forget about the question. Peter will bring up. Look at this record. Hey, father. Hey, you get what you know, you understand. Then they talk the other time, say one billion van just miss road. What can enter somebody? Father, my yeah. money miss road. <laughs> <laughs> Practical lesson. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's just practical. Okay, but but they come talk say mm, they won't carry the thing go headquarters go where their headquarters stay so make them pay their staff. You know, <laughs> but I don't know how the work happened there now. But I know how it is. I talk say the bullet van they go one company. Uh -huh. <laughs> we go pay their staff. Uh -huh. You know, she said that place be like a company where they pay their staff. <laughs> It's not see staff, we staff by the road, they wait for the money. <laughs> but come, then talk say, money no they inside the bullion van. And they take money. And they take money. If they don't say money no they inside the bullion van, that means say they open the bullion van and check where that money they. <laughs> they be one pay those people by sniffing the bullion van. <laughs> And the toxin will be them invite them all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> That's Nigeria for you. And I'll leave you with that. Until I see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And if I have said something that uh, makes you uh, uncomfortable, if I have said something that gets you angry, if I have said anything that actually really makes you not happy or uncomfortable uh, tonight, I am so sorry. Okay? And, and I promise you, I am going to go harder next time. And I will make sure that you are more uncomfortable, unhappy. And then uh, every time those truths start coming out, it's going to be harder next time. So I apologize that uh, no matter what it is for you tonight, between two of us, eh? but don't forget, like the broadcast and I will see you some other time. Uh, make, do with whatever you like. Uh, do with uh, all this information, whatever you like. But don't ever forget of liking the broadcast, sharing it, subscribing, so that you won't miss it again. I mean, you will never miss any, any of this. And I'll see you some other time. So good night. From here. Sunraki, 
Chugani bati she to yagi won she omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ran o eh ma ye bu ti de gogo oje tu e sura ki ma ye bu ti de gogo oje tu e sura ki sugani bati she to yagi won she omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ran wafo wo be o ma ye gun o so pe wo o be be wafo wo be ma ye gun o so pe wo o be be oni kan sha ti se yi to ya ki won se ma won ra ilu to pe won de be o aye ma ye ko ti de gogo oje du e sura ki ma ye ko ti de ta <laughs> ye <laughs> o ti do ba lori abinu eni ko si mo buya ai si wolu ni eni ke igodi eyin la para o gbogbo eni to ba don wa ka mu ma ye o ti de gbogbo oje lu e tun ra ki ha ma ye ko ti de gbogbo oje lu e tun ra ki o eni ba ti se yi to ya ki won se omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ran o Aye buti de gogo oje du e sura ki Aye buti de gogo oje du e sura ki Sugani bati se yi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ran